In this video we're going to look at long division again and this time the sum is 297 divided by 3. When we've correctly worked that out we'll be able to then say 3 times the answer equals 297 because division and multiplication are the opposite of each other. So let's get started. If we set this up as we have before with the 3 outside a symbol that shows that you're dividing and the 297 inside and then we'll um, do our three times table to help us once times three equals three two times three equals six three times three equals nine four times 3 equals 12, 5 times 3 equals 15, 6 times 3 equals 18, 7 times 3 equals 21, 8 times 3 equals 24, and 9 times 3 equals 27, and that sh no, we can probably go a bit further. 10 times 3 equals 30. So we're ready to start with our division now. And the first question we need to ask ourselves is how many times does 3 go into 2? Well, 3 doesn't go into 2, so we then go to the next digit and say how many times does 3 go into 29 and then we look down here and we can see that it goes between 9 and 10 times so 9 times 3 is 27 10 times 3 is 30 but we're dealing with whole numbers so we go for the lower one so 3's into 29 goes 9 times and then we write the three nines are 27 beneath so that we can work out the remainder so we're going to take that away seven nine minus seven is two two from two is zero and then we bring the next number down which is seven and then we ask how many times does three go into 27 well three goes into 27 nine times Exactly. So we write the 9 up on the answer line and the 27 underneath just to show that we understand this method and that there's nothing left. So the answer to our question, 297 divided by 3 is 99. And then we can also say 3 times 99 equals 297.